Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to talk about ET15000 uh, in the printer inspection mode and it says sit jig and push touch panel. If you push the touch panel, uh, you're going to see it's a flag check and the initial charge flag is off so it doesn't do the initial charge but the inspection flag is on. That means when you restart, you go back to this inspection mode. So it asks you to push a power button. So you if you push a power button, it's going to turn the printer off. So I'll push the power button, I turn the printer off. So when the printer comes back because the inspection flag is on, then you're going to see it turn into printer inspection mode. Uh, there's a video on YouTube, I think it's pretty funny. You know the difference between an amateur and a professional? An amateur does it till they get it right. A professional does it till they can't get it wrong. I read the question and answer, how you get rid of it and just restart your printer. And how you fix it. Fix what? Nothing broken. How do you get that screen? Never unless I want to. Anyway, I'm an amateur, so I'm not professional. So let me try to explain. The printer inspection mode is for repairmen when they take the scanner off. So the printer doesn't have a scanner. They wanted to test the printer without scanner. You shouldn't see this mode. If you see this mode, probably a part of your firmware corrupted. You may have uh, automatic apps update down. So when uh, Epson is trying to update his firmware, somehow get interrupted. It certainly is not a situation that you want to get into. But it certainly is a situation that you want to get out of it. I have another video showing how to get out of it. I think it's a ET2720. Yeah, it is a 2720. Here's how it works. Gonna hold it for a little while. A little bit longer. Excuse me. <coughs> it showed the four choices, and then I used the up and down to select number four. So basically, it gave you uh, direct access to the root, which you can have four choices. However, for the ET15000, and uh, it asks for password. You turn into the inspection mode by holding down the home button and then the power button. And here I tell you the up, which is increase the letter, is the help button, which is this button on the right, which I'm pointing to. The shift is after you get a number, you want to move to the next number, is the home button which is button on the left. When you finish, you press the touch panel. Basically, this number only goes up. If you press one more, you cannot go down. You have to restart the whole process again. Each model will have a different number for the ET15000. The number Epson gave to me is 98308. So you can see I press 9, then I do a shift, and uh, do 8, shift 3, shift 0, shift 8, and then I do the touch panel. The finish is touch panel. If I do the touch panel again, it should bring me to the menu screen. However, turn out this ID is for Asian model, and uh, Epson didn't bother to give me the US model. Uh, I have some beef with Epson, so uh, if any uh, Epson repairman there can, can give me pass me the ID number, That'd be uh, fabulous. Or you guys can go uh, go ahead and try other IDs. Yeah, I got to pass on some IDs from my friends. And those for other models, I just don't have ID for ET15000. If I see the other printers have this problem, I can 
should enter video and uh, pass, pass you get starter IDs. However, for you, you go ahead and try that Asian ID. It may work for your main board. And you can see the inspection flag is still on. So if I restart, it still goes back to the inspection mode C jig. So for the ones that the ID doesn't work, I'm going to just physically take off the EEPROM and uh, reprogram it. This model's so EEPROM just cannot reprogram on board, so you have to remove it from the main board and uh, putting a programmer. Anyway, this video gets long. I'm just trying to explain to you what is inspect mode, what it does, how to get into it. Although I didn't get into it, then uh, in the future, if I have time, I'm going to shoot another video, show you how to re reprogram the firmware. Anyway, yeah, I'll be pretty busy. You can see I didn't update for a while. So you're interested uh, to get notice when the new video is available, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.